Hey everybody, Will Jack here. Um, I know in my last video that I posted a day or so ago, I said I wasn't going to do any more updates to try to do them every month. Well, I'm going to sort of reiterate on a couple things and this is a little easier because I thought of a couple things I should have mentioned that I didn't. Excuse me for one second, I need to move a window. There we go, that's better. Um, okay, so a couple things. Um, one, I apologize for lately the videos being dark. Um, I've been doing them at night, mainly after my wife goes to bed. Because I don't know if you remember or if you, I've ever shown the setup. Um, I got basically a wall of some type of video monitor set up here. I got 24 inch monitor, I got a 32 inch TV, and I have a 42 inch TV plus a laptop screen. So I'm in an area that's nine foot wide, I believe. There's two desks side by side, nothing but computer equipment. Now, I would turn around and show you guys the whole layout, except for one thing it's a mess. So, grant me a little explanation time here. Use your imagination, which I know a lot of you have. But, like I said, right here is my wall. Okay. And this is the bedroom. Well, it's supposed to be the living room, but it's the only thing that the bed would fit in. But you have the wall here. I got a 24 inch monitor at approximately a 45 degree angle, 32 inch screen in front of me, which is what I'm looking at right now, which has the webcam on. That's my desk. Now, the only other thing on the desk is obviously keyboard, mouse, but my PS3. So that, in my mixer, so that takes up the entirety of my desk. There's another desk next to me, which is my wife's, which has, on the far end, a 42-inch TV. In front of the 42-inch TV on a cooling stand is her notebook, which is receiving Wi-Fi signal. Next to the 42-inch TV, which is at a slight angle, which makes it easier for her with um, her visual capabilities to see, is my computer sitting long ways. Not forward, front, back. I don't have the button right here. It, I have to reach around. But luckily, I found out my computer kicks on if I tap the space bar. So, her PC itself is on the floor, which I should get out and turn around clean while she's not here so that gives you a little explanation didn't rate you see a bunch of stuff right here you know an empty pop can monster can some jelly some creamer I hate to say it that's sitting on the X-bone PS4 is below it 360 is below that so I actually need 11 foot worth of wall but I only have nine. So, to reiterate with some of the stuff I mentioned in the last video, um, and some good news, which I'm going to turn around and get into, because I made a decision last night after, actually the night after I uploaded the video. I have been reluctant. I, I admit it. I've been reluctant to live stream. For a few reasons one obviously the camera placement you you see behind me you see you know kitchen that is what is literally right behind me I mean microwave toaster oven coffee pot behind that's the stove no I'm not gonna do any cooking time with WLJK um, I'll, I'll leave that to uh, Wolf 21 and Lucklin um, which is humorous when they did that but the, you, I've been I've been reluctant to stream for that's one reason. Another reason is I still don't have the setup right. Um, even though I have a desk that's totally dedicated to two monitors, one gaming system, and the keyboard and mouse, 
in the mixer. I still don't have enough room. So I can't do, like, put the webcam over here aiming down, which I don't want to do because my wife requested that she is not shown on video, which is totally fine. I can agree with that. So for me to turn around and use a webcam from a side, I have to put a tripod between us, which the first time she goes to move, say we're playing hypothetically agrarian skies, say we're playing agrarian skies Minecraft. She's like, okay, well, I got to turn around and use the restroom. She backs her chair up. She's going to hit the tripod. The camera's going to go spinning, flying, boom. Don't want that. Um, the other thing is, is the fact that the, believe it or not, when I first built the systems, there was very minimal heat. And now I built the systems in January. So you think it's cool, my, my system was running cool because it was pulling cool air. Because I don't run the furnace during the winter because where I live in the apartment, laundry room's right down below me, everybody's washing clothes all the time. The heat from the dryer in that room rises directly into this room. So I don't run the furnace, everything stays warm in this apartment. Um, but now that it's become summertime, I've explained in the last video briefly and rather uh, rushed that, and quite softly because I had to talk like this because she was sleeping. But um, what I had done is, in case you guys don't know, I have a carbide or Corsair carbide A540 PC case, beautiful case. I'm knowing more and more people getting these. Um, matter of fact, I had a conversation, a brief one, with uh, Slowpoke101 from the FTB team last night. He had just migrated his entire system into a carbide A540. Now, he's doing strictly air cool. Now, mine, because I have that bad mamma jamma of a FX9590 AMD chip, which requires liquid cooling. I have a liquid cooled um, PC, which caused a slight problem because the design of the heat sink and fan of a stock processor does not only cool your processor, it also cools um, the VRM or the voltage regulators and your memory. Now memory, I'm not overclocking the memory, the memory's not running hot, it's fine. It's that voltage regulator area which is very very crucial because if that section of your board goes it can kill your motherboard, or well yeah it can kill your motherboard. It can kill your motherboard, it can kill your graphics card, any add-in cards, and it can fry the processor or it just loses voltage and your system runs real slow. So, I had to make a change. I swapped out the factory front fans with these. I don't even think I have one of the cases. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they're back here on top of the toaster oven. Um, but they're a high flow fan. So I got those pushing the air in the front. I swapped the back fan instead of exhausting, seeing I'm exhausting up through the top, swapped it around so it would blow in and it blows in on that. So there's another reason. It's getting the equipment properly cooled, properly set up, not to mention I had to change the location of the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, like I said in the previous video, and a handful of other things. So, the biggest thing in that eyeball look is driving me crazy. <laughs> um, my Rebel AOS camera is sitting on top of my PC. I was experimenting with that, which I'm going to explain in a second. So, we, we got that situation going on. Um, I also mentioned that I'm designing a custom case. Now, let me... 
while I'm explaining this, I'm going to bring the... You guys are not going to see it, but I'm going to be able to see it. I'm going to open up my file and uh, take a quick look here. And uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll turn around, cut to a um, segue here, and uh, I'll be back in a moment to explain the case and what, or case the rack, and explain exactly what I'm going to do with this and give you guys an idea. Okay, guys, here is, uh, th this is not the best CAD drawing of the, uh, per se, cabinet I'm making. So I'll, I'll give you a, a basic idea. The Obviously, there's a shelf right here. Oops, I did not want to do that. Undo, okay, you just select it. If I save it without doing anything, it'll be fine. Uh, file. Let's let's reopen this. There we go. And I can uh, get this back down. Th this is a new version of a CAD program I'm using. I've never used this before. It's sort of like the idea of LibreOffice, except it's CAD. Um, so what we have here, the plan is this is going to hold every single gaming apparatus I have. Now this is not the complete design, this is not the final design. Um, so basically let me explain what we got here. We have, now what you see in here with these boxes and the boxes with the circles, this is actually the back. So this big cutout here is going to be my PC case. And I'm going to have two exhaust fans preferably 140 millimeter I might drop it down to 120 but that's going to be pulling the hot air from the radiator right out then there's going to be a shelf this shelf is going to be designated for the Xbox one because of the fact that the air is um, exhausted at the top so these fans are actually going to move up a little bit and it's also if I remember by looking at it right now it's also the or no, this isn't going to be the Xbox One. I'm sorry. This is going to be the PS3. Because I need to turn around and get in and open it. Then you're going to have your PS4, your 360, and Xbox One. All of them's going to have twin exhaust fans behind them. Like I said, 120 or 140. This is going to be open. This is where I'm going to put all those splitters, switches, and everything else in. So all the cabling is going to run up into this here. I'm going to have like... You know, the HDMI switch, the HDMI splitter, and the network switch here. This here is going to be left open. And this here is going to be, once again, 140s or 120s. But there's going to be a four of them in a 2x2 two two grid. And the notebook's going to sit up here. Now, the one drawback I have is... Alright, so you have four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen 10, 12, 14 fans. Even if I bought $10 fans, that's $140. But the back of this is not going to be a solid piece of wood. This is going to be what they call pegboard, which is the um, the thin like plywood material with the little holes that you put the metal pegs in. So the two sides in the back is going to have this pegboard, which is going to help with the airflow. Um, the four corners are going to be wood, and then there's going to be shelf. That's basically it. I'm hoping to turn around and get this built like within next month or so. The, this is one of the things that's slowing me down right now for the, uh, the, the streaming because I want to get everything in here. Um, and then the other thing is I was originally going to put the charging unit for the controllers in here that is not going to happen that's actually going to be sitting on under the shelf of my tv once i put my shelf in and get cl things cleared up the mixer is going to go back where it was the microphone is going to go back where it was so this is going to be a, a rather clean um, installation hopefully 
I just I got plans. I just got to figure out how to run wiring. I got to figure out what to hook these 14 fans to. I do not know if I can turn on be sneaky and buy a fan controller for my PC and have the wire run externally and make custom length wire and have all these run off of it or not. Um, that would be kind of neat, but I don't want to blow the PC. I do have other um, power supplies, which I could turn around, you know, get a lower wattage, older power supply and run it, but I don't really have any place to put it in here. So, but there is a quick review of what I'm planning on building. Um, once it's done or in progress, I'll turn around and take some pictures and uh, we'll see what happens and uh, show you guys the progress of it. So now back to the live action part of our video show. Okay guys, so th there, there's, there's the somewhat quick explanation of what's going on. And as you can see, you know, the lot, lots of stuff going on there. That case, that whole design is designed to replace this little shelving unit I have here and the thing is it's going to sit about right here matter of fact is it it's actually possibly good I might have to take the shelf out which is no biggie um, but that's what's going on there another thing is to um, with a face cam obviously I don't have a green screen I don't really have room to put a green screen behind me um so face cam may not be in the live streaming for now um if i can get it where i'm planning on possibly rearranging maybe let her be in this room i be in the other room over here or put her computer in there and mine over here one of the two because i know i can take the um china cupboard it's presently temporarily sitting in there and moving along the wall over here so give us a little bit more room she'll be in the other room she can do what she wants and won't interfere with any of my recording now that is the major situation right now um, she has been doing a lot of Facebooking which I don't mind she's making friends she's got uh, multiple friends in Europe Asia uh, South America, you, you know, good for her, you know, and a couple of them I have become friends with, um, but the unfortunate thing is, like, I experienced this last night, I was watching the Alien Anthology for, like, the third time, and, um, she kept like I had my headphones on so I didn't bother her but she kept like having problems she kept looking at me going hun, hun, hun. I'm like uh, I can't blame her I don't want to say she's slow but with the oh excuse me I got a shift with the um, injury that she suffered from her stroke sometimes picking stuff up takes a couple times it's a it's a little slow process to remember everything her short-term memory not that great but she can remember something from 25 years ago like that tell you the exact date time what the sun if the sun was out what color cars went by but the short term is a little so we're working on that now the one thing I wanted to turn around and bring up is that not all my equipment is here yet I'm as you can see I'm still holding the microphone I still have the old mixer, which I think I figured the problem out with it. So unless I definitely get a second microphone, I might keep the mixer. Um, I don't have the stand as you as I just did. I, I'm holding it. So the art part is that's three of the four pieces I still need. The fourth piece is the new webcam now. I was going to try to use my Rebel EOS. Now, the Rebel EOS is sitting approximately the same distance as the webcam. It's sitting on top of my computer next to it. 
but the rebel turns around and gives a wider um, view. It records in 1080, 30 frames. Webcam I got at 720, 30 frames. Uh, much smaller file to work with. Um, and I can't get it to focus in on me because it's the wrong type of lens and I do not have hundreds of dollars to replace the lens or get another lens. So, but enough of that technical jargon and excuses because um, I've already run according to this 15 minutes plus a short snippet I put in there with the, uh, the, the, the shelving that I was doing let's get down nitty gritty I explained some of the things I was reluctant to do live streaming with which did it stop me from doing YouTube like this obviously not because I've been vlogging updates um, the biggest problem I'm having was streaming which I have to test again because Time Warner Cable was in the back alley screwing with the lines again I gotta check my upload speed so just to explain something you're like okay upload speeds no problem slight problem the notebook I mentioned the notebook receiving Wi-Fi that's receiving Wi-Fi that my neighbor graciously is sharing with me so according to the speed tests I'm getting two meg up but if my microwave or his microwave or something else kicks on it's in the right frequency it will dump the signal and then the poor notebook once it tries to reestablish the signal it goes to my router instead of his which I have to fix that I think my wife fixed it last night matter of fact but that's you know so for me to stream it's going to be one of two or it's going to be two or three different time frames let's think of the time frames as eight hours I can turn around well let's put it this way uh, from about now I'm in Eastern Standard Time in the US so from about 10 o'clock at night till five o'clock well let's put it this way between between about five and midnight I'm limited on what I can do on the internet because the neighbors home um, when he's not when he is working I got free reign of the internet when he is not work or no when he is working I have free reign when he's not working I have to time it and see what he's doing and whatnot so that's that um, that was the biggest um, drawback the other was to be honest I couldn't get into any of the gaming I hate to say it, I love video games I'm I'm a video game kid from the 80s so I was there at the first big push in the collapse and then the rebirth and now we have what we have today um, so with that being said I love video games it's just maybe I've become too numb um, for example I hate to bring this up because I love this game matter of fact I'm thinking about starting it again Watch Dogs Watch Dogs made by Ubisoft is just a modern day version of another Ubisoft franchise which is Assassin's Creed think about it same mechanics same style of gameplay then you got on top of that your Call of Duties and Battlefields I've given up on them the only one I'm willing to try is um, Hardline, which is the beta, 
which I am in, um, but I played it long enough to get things configured, and when I got on, there was nobody to match up to, so I just roamed around the maps and experimented with stuff. So, you know, those are cookie cutters now. Um, Steam sale going on right now. I don't have the money. By the time I, my wife gets her monthly check, the Steam sale is going to be over. Um, though I did pick up uh, L.A. Noir, which I made a mistake. I wanted to pick up, um, now I can't remember the name of it, Heavy Rain. Um, one of our friends from Tennessee suggested it for the PS3. For some reason, when I went online to look it up, I thought L.A. Noir. I don't know why. I picked up for five bucks. I ain't gonna complain. Come here, chair. I need something to rest my arm on. So, with that being said, I got a new classic, I guess you could say. It's called Classic. Um, but to give you guys an idea, I have 108 games on my system just from Steam I got another 20 20 15 from Origin and I got a couple from GOG you know it's just I have a backlog I gotta work through and plus I got four gaming systems over here you know it, it, so here, here's a little advice if you want to get into this to turn around and make money don't you're going in the wrong wrong avenue go in to have fun take your time I sort of made the mistake where we had an abundance of money my wife turned around and said update your system so I top the line of everything I could buy and she's like go get your game systems okay well I have very minimal games for the game systems though I have had a lot of suggestions from my friend uh, from my friend in Tennessee as to uh, PS3 games because he's he which helps me out because everybody I know has Xbox they don't have PS3 <laughs> except my one buddy and all he does is play Call of Duty on it um, so that's sort of the problem the fact that I I hate to put blame on my wife but sometimes she distracts me frustrates me um, I know she doesn't mean to uh, nobody ever does really but it just you know but you know amongst those handful of things there there's the reason why I haven't been streaming reason for YouTube which would have been simpler but you know I just it's hard um, especially when both of us stay home all day it's getting nicer now so she might go out for walks but then I, that means I got like a half hour to turn around record something and who knows um, plus I get distracted from the games too easily I, I turned around played watchdogs I completed it and now all I got is side missions and it took me I think 48 hours the total game time to finish Watch Dogs campaign wise and I bought the game two days after it was released so you think four days after the game was released is the last time I played it and I got all those you know fun side missions to do um, I actually started, don't know why, Saints Row the Third up again. It's like I got Watch Dogs to finish. Why am I playing Saints Row? Because I got bored with Saints Row. I'm, I'm, I got very short attention span on games that take a while. Skyrim is not a good example. I, I, I turn around, and put close to 80 hours into it, but it took me two months to do that and then the hard drive wonked out on the 360 and I had to start all over I'm like eh. 
I got rid of the game. Well, then it came up on Steam last summer on sale, and I bought it again because of all the graphics and stuff enhanced on this, the PC version. But, um... Uh, so, yeah, I get easily distracted. Like, right now, I'm turning around trying to go back through my mind to remember what I said 10, 15 minutes ago because I easily get distracted. But, um... There we go. Brain fart. But the the one last final thing is the um, the fact that beginning of May I had that gallstone attack. I really didn't feel like doing anything. And I know you guys can't blame me for that because you know it's an illness. You're sick. You don't feel like doing anything. You just want to curl up in bed and hide from the world so the pain goes away. Um. I was in pain for a month and a half. Um, actually, if you count the after surgery pain I had for the extra three days, might as well say almost two months. Um, but with that being said, I'm, I'm no longer in pain. I'm no longer have to take the pain medication, so I'm not going to be like a... Um, but... Yeah, and trying, like I said, time frames. It, it's YouTube. You can be like, "Hey, I can turn around and play for. I got you know two hours to play. I can record some games. I'll pop in Minecraft and continue on with my story or something." That's easy. When it comes to Twitch, it's a it's a little bit more difficult. Not to mention, I have not tested any of this equipment on a live stream yet. Um, so if you guys do see a thing of me popping on to Twitch, more than likely the first couple times are going to be short, I mean very short streams, where I'm just testing and debugging and working on hardware. And give me a sec, I need a drink. Um... I'm not good enough to be sponsored by these people, so they're not going to be seen on camera. But if you saw that much of the can, I think you know what it is. And that's the other thing that was worrying me. The one last thing, and then I'll let you go. The whole rumor of YouTube looking into buy Twitch. You had the rumor, which I laughed at because I'm sitting there thinking... YouTube, you can't run your streaming service right. You're going to buy Twitch. And I'm thinking, Twitch has grown too fast, too quick. Um, I shouldn't say too fast. It, it's grown quickly in the past couple years. I mean, it's what, two, three years old? And it's grown to what it is now, a juggernaut. Um, now, I, I did a survey the other day. They were wondering if they let other people, or if they let people stream stuff other than gaming, if I would be interested. I'm like, yeah. Like, for instance, um, hypothetically, I turn around and tell you guys, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a new PC. I'm going to customize it. I'm going to live stream it for you so you can see what is going on. They would allow that. Even though technically they do now because... If you turn on, say, you're streaming a gaming PC build, they'd probably let it slide. <clears throat> um, for instance, <clears throat> Wolf 21 and Lucklin turn around and stream during the Super Bowl of food that they were making. Which, I gotta go back and watch that video because they made some darn good food I was interested in. Uh, so. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to look at something. So, you know, like, like for instance, I could turn around and say, well, I'm building a custom cabinet for my gaming systems, I'm going to live stream it and show it to you guys. Now, that particular thing would be a little tricky because I would have to be live streaming from my in-law's house because they have all the wood tools. They got the power saws. I, I don't have power tools. I got hand, 
I don't have, let's put it this way, I don't have shop tools. I got hand tools. I got a rechargeable circular saw and jigsaw and stuff. They got the bandsaw, the table saw, the planer. You know. So, but anyway, this has been a very, very long uh, stream. Uh, my wife is presently at an event near, as many of you may remember, I mentioned I live near Cleveland. She is down at the Rock Hall today because um, it's it's the uh, the Pride um, parade and event, and uh, she volunteered some time, which I was a little iffy, but this is the first time. Excuse me. In three years that she's gotten out, done something she wanted on her own. So I'm not going to stop her. Um, so I'm going to have a video uh, video call. I'm going to have a phone call whenever she's ready to come home because i got to go down and pick her up. So that's not going to be a problem for me. I told her, I said, you do what you want. Have fun. Enjoy the day. Um, I actually should be sleeping right now because I've had an hour and a half of sleep in the past 24 hours. So, But anyway, catch you guys later. This is Will Jack. I apologize for another video, but I felt truly that it needed explained better. I mean, um, a lot of you have been with me since day one. Um, and I appreciate that and most of you have stuck around some of you are still subscribed to me but you know here's the strange thing I know it's it sounds strange it's not really strange but I have a hundred and sixty plus followers you guys which I appreciate every one of you but when I turn around and produce a video and it goes out I think the out of the last couple groupings, I only had one video that had above 10 people. Which I know, you're probably going, uh, update video, he's going to BS through the whole thing. Yes, unfortunately. Um, hopefully I'm going to be getting back into the gaming aspect. In actuality, instead of using this 30 plus minutes of talking to you guys, I should have been cleaning my desk. As simple as that. But I was experimenting. But um, I shall talk to you guys later. Hopefully you like the idea of the design. Um, it's going to be, a, like I said, it's a rough design. I'm not going, you know, all out trying to make this uber, fantastic, super cooling racking system. I just, it, it it's just an alternative. I turned around tried pricing something similar a server rack type idea and they're freaking ridiculous and I couldn't get one that would that would fulfill my needs so but like I said this has been wheeljack guys I shall catch you later and uh, enjoy the if you're having wonderful weather right now enjoy it catch you later